View binding is a feature that allows you to more easily write code that interact with views. That means layouts. Once view binding is enabled in a module, it generates a binding class for each XML layout present in that module. View binding is enabled on a module by module basis. To enable view binding in a module, set the view binding built option to true in the module level build dot gradle file when view binding is enabled for a module a binding class is generated for each xml layout file that the module contains each binding class contains references to the root view and all views that have an id defined within the layout file the name of the binding class is generated by converting the name of the xml file to a pascal case and adding the word binding to the end. For example, given a layout file called activity name, activity underscore main dot XML, the generated binding class is called activity main binding. First step is to enable view binding. So it has to be done in the module build dot gradle file. So basically we have to add view binding true here and build the project. Second step is to declare the object to the view binding class. Okay. So in our case it is activity main binding. Let's import it. Okay. Third step is to initialize the object, binding object. So we initialize the binding object by inflating the activity main binding class. Fourth step is to set content to the root view. So we can remove this line of code and set content view to binding dot root. So as we discussed earlier, the binding object contains reference to the root and all the ID is declared within the activity main dot XML. So in this case, we have txt view, which is the ID of the text view. So we could reference this object and the root view of this layout. So here we are setting the content view to binding dot root. And the final to do is to set the text of text view to high from on create. Now let's try running it. Okay. So here you go. So it has printed this text. So if you want to try this out, you can download the project from the GitHub and the link for this project is given in the description.